Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to generate e-invoices for different types of vouchers in Tally Prime. You will also know the setup required for successful generation of e-invoices under e-invoice integration. It is important to note that e-invoicing is applicable for sales invoice, point of sale or POS invoice, credit note, debit note and advance receipt. This video also demonstrates the process of adjusting an advance receipt amount in sales invoice for e-invoicing purposes. Let us first see how to alter a voucher type for e-invoicing under e-invoice integration phase. You will need to enable e-invoicing in sales invoice, credit note, debit note and receipt voucher types. Let's open sales voucher type. Press Alt plus G, go to Alter Master Voucher Type Type or select Sales and press Enter. Now, set Allow e-invoicing to Yes. Method of voucher numbering is set to Automatic Manual Override. Set Prevent Creating Duplicate Voucher Numbers to Yes. This option ensures that you cannot create two sales invoices with the same voucher numbers, although you have the facility to override the voucher numbers if needed. Satka does not allow e-invoicing for vouchers with the same numbers. Therefore, we also recommend you to add a prefix or suffix to the voucher numbers. Enable the option Set or Alter Additional Numbering Details. You can then enter a prefix, say sales to the voucher numbers. So, if your voucher number is 1, then by adding the prefix, it becomes sales 1. This ensures that the voucher numbers of a specific voucher type do not coincide with those of a different voucher type. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher type. Similarly, you need to enable e-invoicing for point of sale, credit note, debit note, and receipt voucher types. Now, let's see how to create or alter party ledger for e-invoicing. You can specify the necessary details in a party ledger at the time of either voucher creation or voucher alteration. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master. Ledger Type or select the name of the party ledger and press enter. Specify name in Arabic as per your requirement. Ensure that you specify the building number, city, district, country and PIN code as per the registered address of the company. Moreover, in case of export and intra-GCC transactions, additional number is mandatory. Now set Buyer ID Details to Yes. In the Buyer ID Details screen, you will need to specify any one detail of your customer when the transaction is exempted and zero rated. If you do not provide any one detail, then the voucher gets rejected by the e-invoice system. Moreover, National ID is mandatory if taxability is zero rated and category code reasons either Vatex SA Edu, Private Education to Citizen or Vatex SA HEA, Private Healthcare to Citizen. Press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. Now, set mailing details in local language to Yes. In this screen, you will need to specify the mailing details in the local language as per the registered address of your customer. As per the regulations by Zatka, you need to specify the address in Arabic for successful generation of e-invoice. Under VAT registration details, select the registration type of your customer. Since this is a registered company, let's select regular. If the party is a B2C customer or end user, then the registration type will be unregistered. Specify the date of VAT registration and VAT number. Select the VRN type based on the nature of registration, say company registration. Press Ctrl plus A to save the details in the ledger. Now, let's see how to set up stock items for e-invoicing. 
press alt plus g alter master stock item type or select the name of the stock item and press enter press f12 and enable the option provide language aliases or name press control plus a to save the setting under stock item name enter the name of the stock item in arabic if taxability is zero rated or exempt then select the reason from the list of reasons and if vat is not applicable on the stock item then you will need to enter the reason in english and arabic press control plus a to save the stock item now that you know how to set up masters for e invoicing let's see how to generate an e invoice for sales invoice press alt plus g go to create voucher and press f8 for sales select the ledger under party account name enter the dispatch details and party details in the respective screens as needed the party details such as building number additional number and others are prefilled based on the information specified in the party ledger However, if you have not specified any details in the party ledger, you can enter here. Moreover, you can set mailing details in local language to yes and specify the details in Arabic. If it's a new customer and you have not specified the details in the ledger, then you can specify the details here. Select the stock items and enter the quantity and rate. The amount gets calculated automatically. Select the VAT ledger and the tax amount gets calculated. Now, enable show e-invoice details. In the e-invoice details screen, the details will be prefilled based on the company master and the details entered in the voucher. Enter the advance amount if any. The amount due is the difference between the invoice amount and the advance amount. If there was no advance amount received from the customer then the amount due is equal to the invoice amount. Press control plus A to save the screen. Now press enter on the total amount and enter the bill wise details. Press control plus A to save the screen. Press control plus A to save the invoice and then press Y to generate the e invoice. As you can see, the e-invoice got generated. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-invoice overview and press Enter. Drill down from the e-invoice generated section. Open the voucher in the display mode. Now, let's print the invoice with e-invoice details. Press Ctrl plus P and then press C to configure. Under print type, select bilingual. Press Ctrl plus E to save the setting. The setting becomes applicable to all the voucher types for which e-invoicing is required. Press I to preview. As you can see, the print of the invoice has the e-invoice details such as QR code. Similarly, you can generate e-invoice for a point of sale or pause invoice. Enter all the details. Select stock items and enter the quantity. Select the VAT ledger. Specify if the transaction is cash or bank. In the e-invoice details screen, the amount due is equal to the voucher amount. Press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. Press Ctrl plus A to save the invoice and then press Y to generate the e-invoice. As you can see, the e-invoice got generated.
Now, let's see how to generate e-invoice for credit note. In case of sales returns, you will record a credit note for your customer. You will need to generate an e-invoice for it. Press Alt plus G, go to Create Voucher and press Alt plus F6 for credit note. Select the party account and enter the receipt details. Enter the date and the original invoice number against which you are recording the credit note. Select the sales ledger and enter the amount. Select the VAT ledger and the tax amount gets calculated. Enable show e-invoice details and the amount due is the voucher amount. Press Ctrl plus E to save. Now, enable provide VAT details. Enter the original invoice number against which you are recording the credit note and the date are filled as per that entered in the receipt details screen. However, you can enter here if you haven't specified the details in the receipt details screen. It is mandatory to select the reason for return based on the nature of goods and transaction. Press enter on the total amount, provide the bill references and press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher and press Y to generate e-invoice. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-invoice overview and press enter. Drill down from the e-invoice generated section. Open the voucher in the display mode. Press Ctrl plus P and then press I to preview. You can see that the e-invoice information including QR code and reason for return has got printed in the voucher. Now, let's see how to generate e-invoices for debit note which is quite similar to the process for credit note. In case of purchase returns, you will record a debit note for your seller. You will need to generate an e-invoice for it. Press Alt plus G, go to Create Voucher and press Alt plus F5 for debit note. Select the party account and enter the dispatch details if needed. Enter the date and the original invoice number against which you are recording the debit note. Select the sales ledger and enter the amount. Select the VAT ledger and the tax amount gets calculated. Enable show e-invoice details. The amount due is the voucher amount. Press Ctrl plus E to save. Now, enable provide VAT details. Enter the original invoice number against which you are recording the credit note and the date. It is mandatory to select the reason for return based on the nature of goods and transaction. Press enter on the total amount, provide the bill references and press Ctrl plus A to save the screen. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher and press Y to generate e-invoice. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-invoice overview and press enter. Drill down from the e-invoice generated section. Open the voucher in the display mode. Press Ctrl plus P and then press I to preview. You can see that the e-invoice information including QR code and reason for return has got printed in the voucher. Now, let's see how to generate an e-invoice for an advance receipt. When you receive an advance from your customer, before you supply the goods, you record an advance receipt. You need to generate an e-invoice for it. Press Alt plus G, go to Create Voucher and press F6 for Receipt. Since e-invoice is enabled in the receipt voucher type, the default voucher is an advance receipt. Under Account, select the ledger. Under Particulars, select the party and specify the advance receipt details. Select the nature of transaction and specify the VAT rate. 
specify advance amount received from the customer. Enable show e-invoice details. The amount due is the voucher amount. Press Ctrl plus E to save. Press Ctrl plus E to save the voucher and press Y to generate e-invoice. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-invoice overview and press enter. Drill down from the e-invoice generated section. Open the voucher in the display mode. Press Ctrl plus P and then press I. You can see that the e-invoice information including QR code and reason for return has got printed in the voucher. Now that you know how to generate an e-invoice for advance receipt, let's see how to adjust the advance receipt amount in the sales invoice. Press Alt plus G, go to Create Voucher and press F8 for Sales. Select the ledger under Party or Quant name. Enter other details and enable Show e-invoice details. The amount due is the difference between the sales invoice amount and the advance receipt amount received from the customer. Press Ctrl plus E to save. Provide the bill wise details as applicable and press Ctrl plus A to save. Press Ctrl plus A to save the invoice and press Y to generate E invoice. Press Alt plus G. Type or select E invoice overview and press enter. Drill down from the E invoice generated section. Open the voucher in the display mode. Press Ctrl plus P and then press I. You can see that the E invoice information including QR code has got printed in the voucher. As you saw, you can easily set up Tally Prime for e-invoicing by providing the necessary details in the voucher type, party ledger, and stock items. What's more, you can also adjust the advance receipt amount in sales invoices. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.